Okay, hi guys. Today I want to talk about long-term protective styling. A lot of people have been asking me to do tutorials, do tutorials, do tutorials, especially on a lot of my African or traditionally inspired hairstyles. And I'm going to be doing tutorials um, in the future. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on my website or in a DVD form or in an ebook form, but that's something I'm definitely going to be doing in the future. But one of the reasons why I have not done it recently is because of the hairstyle that I have. It's a long-term protective hairstyle. And in the natural hair care community, I know we talk a lot about protective styling. And it's so important for numerous reasons. I know you guys have probably heard about it. And for those of you guys that are not natural or considering going natural or, you know, are Caucasian sister girls or Hispanic sister girls or Asian sister girls, you know, Keeping in mind that giving your hair a rest, either from constant manipulation with hair tools like combs or brushes, or even heat. I know we love heat. A lot of women love heat to achieve certain types of desired styles. And as well, giving your hair a rest from the weather, from the elements. You know, protective styling during the winter time is a great way to give your hair a rest and protect it from that cold, very, um, very brutal winters. I know we're having in Florida anyway for a Florida girl like myself. So. What I think hasn't been talked about as much is long-term protective styling. I classify as long-term protective styling is styles that you use that transcend uh, sessions when you wash or co-wash or condition your hair and it extends beyond just a weekly style so it's beyond that that style that you use or you or, or you change up every time that you wash or you shampoo your hair you take your hair down and then you do another style for me long-term protective stylings are very durable styles that transcend those washing sessions and those are the protective styles that your girl loves so what I'm rocking right now is my natural hair. A lot of people have asked me, oh, am I doing sister locks? Um, do I have Bob Marley hair in my head? What kind of style am I using? These are my twists with my natural hair. And they can either be called micro two-strand twists, or I like to call them twa twists after the Batwa people. Some people refer to them, I think, in a derogatory form as the pygmy people, but they're like one of the oldest groups of people on this planet, the Batwa or the Twa people. So in honor of them, because of their short stature, I call these twists Twa twists. So I'm going to give y'all a 360 of this just to get a good look at my hair. This is not Sister Locks at all. These are twists. They're just very small twists that I've done on my hair. And to achieve this look, I think you can do this with any type of um, hair length. If you're natural even if you're not natural or you're transitioning I think this is also a great way to transition with your hair those of us girls that have done kinky twists using extensions this is not that different it's just your natural hair so to achieve that desired curl at the end if you are transitioning and you have those relaxed strands perhaps using like a curl or a perm rod can give you this desired look so it's definitely something I feel that can be achieved from different hair textures in various lengths and and so one thing that I will say about my own long-term protective styling, um, I cannot stress to you guys enough the simplicity of it. Yes, you have to have patience in order to do the style and take the style down when it's time to take down. So for me, it takes several days to do this, this hairstyle. Um, it took me about anywhere between four to six days to do this style. Um, with that said, <laughs> Sometimes my attention span is not the best, so I'm watching movies, I'm taking breaks, I'm eating, I'm chatting. So, and also, I started this the day after my finals week, so I was pretty tired in general. But um, to take my hair down, it takes really a full day to take it down because I really like to detangle um, very thoroughly. In general, it takes me a couple of hours to detangle my hair when it is already loose. So imagine when you're taking a loose twist that have been, I would say, twisted up for anywhere between one to two and a half months. And for me, I think long-term protective styling lasts at least a month. 
my my twa twists that I keep in my hair last me anywhere between I would say eight to twelve weeks. I can go almost three months with my hair in twa twists. And actually during the summer, why you haven't seen so many tutorials during the summer, is because I was rocking your girl was rocking twa twists. Okay, hey sister girls, I had to interject quickly for a moment because I want to give you guys a limp check of my hair the first week my twists are installed so I can compare that length to the length that it'll hopefully be when I take my twists out. And also I want to give you guys three quick tips that I use to achieve this look. Now the first tip is you don't have to use heat to twist your hair. For me, my twists are much more defined from root to tip and my hair is much more manageable and I have a lot more added volume to my hair when I twist my hair when it's damp or wet. All right. The second tip is I think that my hair is relatively thick. It's, it's, it's really thick so this may have contributed to how long it took me to complete my twist. So I would suggest learning the different hair textures that you're working with, okay? If you have really thick hair and you don't want to spend a lot of time doing your hair, then perhaps doing your twa twists a little thicker than the ones that I'm rocking might save you some time, all right? And the third thing is I love to dust and or trim my ends when my hair is in twists. And twa twists are a great way to get at those individual knots, those single knots that you, you might not get at if your twists are a lot larger. So I think that this is a great way to dust or trim your hair, all right? Those are my tips, and I'll do more vlogs about this in the future, um, dealing with my twa twists and how I maintain them on a week-to-week -week basis, but also for a detailed visual tutorial and additional suggestions, definitely stay tuned for my upcoming book, Ancient African Hair, Hairspiration for Today's Sister Girl. So, one thing for me, I feel that um, is so important for us is to understand that protective styling doesn't just have to be a week to week thing. It can be something that you can rock and it can look fresh for weeks. And for me, one thing that I that I tell people, they say, well, how do you maintain it? And that's something I'm going to probably vlog about um, this time. I didn't do it during the summer, but I'll try to vlog about it in the winter time now. Um, is I wash my hair. While I have my twist in, I condition my hair, I moisturize my hair with spritzes, and let me see what kind of spritzes I have. Just on me right now. I have two types of spritzes. One I got from the Black Onyx uh, Hair Affair Show this past uh, fall in Tampa. And actually, no, I actually went to that hair show, but I actually bought this from her in the Orlando Natural Hair Expo. And it's the Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner Spritz. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smell, this scent is so yummy. I cannot tell you. It's very light. It's a very light texture. Um, it keeps my hair moist. It keeps it revitalized. It keeps it smelling yummy. So it's something that I would definitely endorse. And, you, and a lot of you guys know that have watched my videos. I don't endorse that many hair care products. Your product has to be good and I have to use it <laughs> regularly for me to endorse it. Um, I will try out products but for the most part, when I actually endorse a product, it's either one that I create or one that I stand strongly by. And this lemongrass leave-in conditioner is amazing. It's something I will definitely buy again. When I'm not using that, or before I actually even knew anything about that lemongrass leave-in moisturizer by Black Onyx, um, I would use a simple um, spritz bottle that contained either distilled water or aloe vera juice or um, yeah, aloe vera juice or distilled water or a mixture of the two. And I would put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in it. And for scent, I would use an essential oil such as peppermint. I love peppermint because to rub that into your scalp, it definitely um, promotes, you know, circulation in your hair, that cooling effect in your hair to really promote that circulation needed for hair growth. So definitely, I use my spritzes with my twa twist. I use my moisturizers with my twa twist. And those of you all that know me from day one, I've been using my hair lotion, which I'll just take a little bit of it out. I've been using my hair lotion that composes of um, shea butter, extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin coconut oil, 
Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of canola oil. This time I did not put any canola oil in it. Um, I'll use a little bit of um, different types of essential ingredients um, to get that thick texture and and to get that scent and yeah and I use this on my hair and my hair I have to say and I'm not just saying it because it's my product that I created but there's nothing that has worked on my hair better than my hair lotion so it's something I definitely endorse and I do um, a very brief um, recipe tutorial about it in one of my earlier videos and so definitely if you haven't watched that definitely watch that guys because if you haven't noticed um my channel is definitely having some major facelifts in the upcoming future so there's some videos that will be staying up in full effect some videos will be having to have another home on my other website um because your girl may be applying for partnerships and different types of things of that nature requires that i definitely do an overhaul of my video so if you haven't watched some of my former videos my new subscribers out there definitely watch them because they may be there in the future they may not be but anyway that's something I definitely love is my hair lotion and one thing that I can say about these twa twists is that it's very versatile so it's not like you know big kinky twists I would say where you know you, you feel that you can't really put your hair in a ponytail because when you put your hair in a ponytail it has this big loop right here this big hoop or this big hump because you don't want to pull at it and it's so thick you can't do anything but with your natural hair with the twa twist they're just as versatile as I would say um as sister locks I would think it's just as versatile and part of the secret I think to twa twist working that a lot of people may not really recognize is your hair evolves within the twist. Some people may say that you're partially locking. Some people may say that, you know, okay, it's just from the long extended periods of time that your hair is, your hair is becoming more and more tightly coiled with each wash. Um, but that is the key, I think, to really protecting the hair is for those twa twists to really mature in a way that would mimic the locking process. But again, don't fret. My hair is the most coiliest of coiliest and my hair did not lock over a two and a half to three month period because I'm constantly washing my hair. I'm constantly keeping it moisturized. I'm constantly doing eye checks and scanning my hair to see what twists may need to be retwisted because they're loose or what twists may need to be retwisted because you know they may be getting snagged a little bit. So definitely learn your hair learn those problem areas of your hair and become acquainted with how your hair reacts to a style just because you do one style over your whole head does not mean that every part of your hair every part of your head is going to react similarly so or the same way so definitely look out for that but anyway these are my twa twists I've had these in for um, I started doing them about a week ago so they've been in for that long and again it's very light um, it's very I think springy and it's definitely going to help me retain that length to promote the growth that I really want because one of my BMOs if y'all haven't seen my New Year's resolution video is to be more healthy so this will help me to achieve that so I hope y'all enjoyed this video take care stay blessed and as always keep telling your story because if you don't no one else will and also to get more you got to be more so keep that in mind as well bye